We are on a mission to Maine from Kima, Texas, all the way around the East Coast of the United States. And in today's episode, we share a small leg of that journey where we travel inshore along the West Coast of Florida. Hope you enjoy. Lovely little trip today, a little cloud cover. No rain yet. Good little sandwich, thank you, Nancy. You're welcome. All right. Um, first bridge coming up. Looks like all the bridges from Clearwater here down to the Gulfport area, they are 20 feet, which is way too small for the sailboat, but they open. So we have to call them when we get there and then they'll open the bridge for us, so pretty cool. Not unlike uh, some of the bridges we had over in Texas, so experience pan off here. Really good. Oh, Indian Rocks Bridge. This is the southbound sailboat heading your way. Yes, sir. I can see it coming. Bring it down here closer. Look at the bridge. Clear it for you. Get it open. Stay outside the center system. Those stands are completely open. Copy that, I do appreciate it. Sailing vessel Cadence. Thank you. Ago, we were going down the intercoastal waterway from Port Aransas back to Kima and I said I would never go ICW again. Well, I lied. Here we are in the ICW and oh my gosh, it's so much prettier. It's like so scenic and you get to see the little town. It's just so pretty. Like we could pull over and have lunch. This is so fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is fun. All right, so this is Park Boulevard Bridge. I just called on the radio and it was a super tongue twister. I was trying to call them in Park Boulevard Bridge. And I kept saying, Park Boulevard by Bridge, Park Boulevard by Bridge. I couldn't say the word Boulevard. <laughs> the guy didn't say anything about it and he knew who I was talking to. Both of these bridges we just passed through, very kind operators, very nice and friendly. Park Boulevard Bridge, anyway. That's his first bridge on the uh, Florida coast. How was it? Um, well, I was going too fast and he wasn't open until 2.30, so I had to slow down and Matt was on the phone and I got scared, <laughs> but I made it. <laughs> and this little boat over here kept going slow and working in front of me, like, get out of my way, people! <laughs> Is it rental? I think so, I don't know. This is also where boats go to die. Got some sunken boats here. Two boats there. Another boat out there. Where's he at? Uh, there he is. We're not anchoring over there. We're not going there to die. Look at that sailboat's channel while flapping over there. Let's try that. That's flat. Oh, that's a, that's a sail. <laughs> 
He must have came in from uh, that tropical storm. I see one, two, I see at least five boats. There's three in the uh, mangroves over there. Wonder if that was from the storm a couple weeks ago. It didn't hit here though. You got one sitting on the school right there. And way back in the trees over there, there's some more boats up in the bushes. mind any of these little bitty ones. They're all so cute. They could live here forever. Well, we made it to Gulfport, Florida, and very simple little four hour trip today. And we're coming up on the uh, mooring field. And we're gonna anchor. So we're gonna try to find a spot just outside the mooring field. It's supposed to be the dinghy dock that cruisers dream about here, so. <laughs> but there's a four hour limit on the dock, uh, which is plenty of time for us to run to town, get a few things we need, do our oil change here. So let's take a look at this uh, anchorage. show me where we're going before I run over some boats. All right, let's check out the map. So there's a nasty storm brewing out here and this is the whole reason we didn't want to go offshore. They're just dark and scary looking and they come up so fast and they just pour lots of rain and lightning. So this is why we're not going offshore. Smart. Been through it before. <laughs> we've, we've, we've had our share of storms lately. <laughs> we know what it's like to be in a real storm. We don't even need a junior storm. What you doing? The squall is starting to hit. <laughs> Your hat is burned inside out. Yeah, I gotta make sure <laughs> the tubes are aired up. So if it gets filled with rainwater, Hold. We haven't aired it up in a few days. I mean, what a week? Yeah. So, probably got about five, maybe ten minutes before it hits hard. Show you what we're dealing with here. This has been the story of the last two weeks. Storms in the Gulf of Mexico on our self-inflicted journey. <laughs> oh, but it feels good. Anchor's tight and I think we're holding great. We are at Anchorage here in Gulfport, Florida. Looking forward to meeting some friends tomorrow as some new friends. And gotta run an errand into town, so get the storm over with and maybe we can run in tonight. Well, hello and good morning. Uh, day number two here at Gulfport. We are moving the boat. We're in this nice little anchorage here. I was wanting a drone shot for you earlier, but the sunrise was a little too windy for my little mini. But uh, it's been a nice, beautiful anchorage. We're actually gonna move the boat right over here to the mooring field um, because of the dinghy dock. So the dinghy dock here is, I've heard is lovely. We haven't been over yet. And it has a four hour limit on how long the dinghy can stay there. 
I've heard that your dinghy will be impounded if you leave it longer than that. So we don't want to test those boundaries. <laughs> but if you get a mooring ball for $20 a night, $22, then you can use the Marina dinghy dock unlimited and all the facilities. So we'll be able to do a load of laundry and all of those things. Anchor held just fine last night. Storm cooled the sky off. It was beautiful. So, first time doing a mooring ball. Wishes luck. This is a finger claw. <laughs> Wishes luck. And we'll see how that goes. We get to meet some new friends today. Dennis and Marie. We're looking forward to that. We're gonna have lunch and run a few errands. Get some oil filter parts and maybe a new GoPro for that damaged one. I can't, I'm, I can't communicate too much. I'm trying to do this. Put it in forward. We're not angry. We're just trying to yell loud enough we can hear. Can you see it? Okay. All right, there we go. Much better. All right. The rabbit comes out of the hole, around the tree back into the hole. Which is good. And one more. We're going to do one on each side of the boat. I don't know. What do you think? I'm going to tighten this up so we get closer to the ball. We'll swing less. We did two uh, bowlins at the end of the line. Have it tightened up about as far as all the other boats around us. We won't swing any more than anybody else. I guess we're good. Let's uh, head off. Looks like that guy runs it through the anchor wall and then has two on the side. An extra line, you're saying? Yeah. We could do an extra line for safety. I think I'd feel better. We're leaving the boat. All right, I'll get a line. Never done. I'll get a line, tie it on, and toss it up, but I gotta use a dinghy to get there. Okay. So I'll get a line, tie it on, toss it up to you. What do I tie it to? Inside the anchor locker? Inside the anchor locker, there's okay. the uh, cleat there, yeah. Just clean it off. One safety line. We'll keep it loose. Okay. Moving on, moving on. I really do it! <laughs> okay, oh, oh, oh. What's happening today? Well, we're going into Wolfport. We're going to go meet Dennis and Marie. Yeah. I didn't cut that part out. I accented the wrong eye. <laughs> um, Dennis and Marie. And then we have a few things that we need to pick up after our golf crossing. We've got some replacing to do and some oil change to do. Let's uh, see what Kate looks like. Okay, she tied up good? She tied up. Tied up good. Looks good to me. Hey, thanks for watching this episode. We will continue our exploration of Gulfport, including a tour of the Catalina factory, a visit to Sarasota, a visit to the White Elephant, snorkeling in Kaya Costa, and finally a mad dash away from Hurricane Elsa. But that'll have to wait. Till next time.